Hi, and welcome to The Perm Show. I'm Gail Langner. Today I'm here with Carrie from Someplace Safe. Carrie is actually a crime victims advocate, and we're so glad that you asked us to come here today Thank to you. Someplace Safe. And, you know, we, we hear about what you do all the time, but, you know, maybe there are some people in the community that don't exactly know what Someplace Safe is and, and what you do. Could you explain that just a little bit? Um, Someplace Safe is an organization that works with victims and survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, and general crimes. Uh, we provide 24-hour crisis line, which they can call at any time. Um, there will always be an advocate to answer. Okay. Um, we do STEPS program, which is the short-term emergency placement services. Uh, now that the shelter is the Parenting Time Center, we put that program in to help with short-term housing. So if, if I were to call and say, help, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in need right now, then what would be the process from there? What would, what would happen? Um, well, I would probably, you know, ask a little bit about the situation to kind of see what's going on and assess it from there. Uh, they have a lot of options. We try to give them the option of, of what they would like to do. Okay. And we're just there to lend a helping hand okay. and, and let them know what services are out there. Okay. So it's their decision. Um, you know, they can come into the office, definitely talk with us and, you know, kind of plan what the next step would be. Okay. If it were in the middle of the night and they needed to run? What would happen then? Uh, they would call our 24-hour crisis line, and there's always an advocate to answer. Mm -hmm. um, they would go through a screening process to see what would suit them. Uh, you know, there are shelters in Detroit Lakes and Brainerd, um, you know, but if that's not an option, mm -hmm. then we see what we can do with hotel placement. Okay, all right. What about if they have children? Then what? You know, that's okay, too. You know, we want to make sure that they're safe. Right. Um, you know, if they have children, it's they still are able to be placed. You know, that does that's not a concern. That's not at all. a concern at nope. all. Okay. You know, Carrie, I really have the feeling, and I'm sure you <laughs> would totally agree, that there are people out there, both men and women, right? Yes, correct. That are in an abusive situation, but we don't know. We don't know it. I'm, you know, I think I heard one time that you would be so surprised that, you know, it's the pillar of the community that, you know, you would never dream in a million years. It concerns me that there are people out there that are being abused in some way, whether it's physically or verbally, right, mm -hmm. yep. emotionally, that don't seek your help. Yes, and that's, that is correct. Uh, Underreporting is, is a major thing. Um, you know, it does happen in small communities, and that's what we're here for. You know, our, our services are free and confidential. Oh, they, confidential is yes, a big, big, big thing, thing, especially in a small community. Exactly. Right. Yep. Um, the only time that we are able to share anything is if they sign a release. Um, other than that, nobody will know. Um, you know, we can take it as slow as they want. You know, we can go as fast as they want. It's really up to them and what they want to do. What they feel comfortable mm -hmm. with so they don't feel pressured or pushed. Exactly, whatever. exactly. You know, I never really thought about it until right this very second, but there probably are some elderly, you know, our seniors that might get into that very same situation. Yes, that's correct. Um, you know, we also do work with that population as well. Uh, one of the things is... The big things is scams. You know, we do oh. we do general crimes, right. which that is considered. Uh, you know, that is a big, huge problem uh, right. that a lot of people they know it's there, but it's still you know like what do you do? Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, going into nursing homes and things like that is really important. That's a really good idea. I know that we talked to uh, Chief Hobie about the you know the scams part of it too, and it's so sad that there are people out there that will do such things. I know. But, yeah. Well, um, we're just going to continue chatting with you and because I know there's a lot of other things that, that we really would like to touch on. So if you'll just stay right with us, don't go away and we'll be right back. Hi and welcome back to The Perm Show. Again, we're here with Carrie from Someplace Safe and she's a crime victims advocate here, um, here in Perm. And um, thank you so much for sharing what you did about Someplace Safe before. I know that I, that I heard that you have a support group. Could yes. you tell the community a little bit about that? The support group is held every Wednesday here at the office from 12 to 1. Um, we call it an empowerment group. 
Okay. Uh, just because you know we want to empower the victims. Right. Um, and this support group is for you know women of who are victims or survivors of domestic violence or sexual assault. Mm -hmm. um, you know we we want people to feel comfortable, you know, getting back into their life and their routine and, and know that they're not alone. So this is what the empowerment group is for. That's a great idea. And so for those of you that don't know, um, the Someplace Safe office um, is on the corner of 1st and 5th, is that right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And it's the St. Stan's um, Parish yep, House, that's right? Correct. Okay. Again, Carrie, what's the date and the time of that again? Um, that would be Wednesdays from 12 to 1. Okay. Do they need to RSVP? Do they need to call and tell you they're coming or can they just No, come? they can just show up and okay. if they have questions, they can always call. You know, it doesn't, <clears throat> they don't, there's no time limit or anything okay. like that. You know, they can come and go as they please. Okay. You know, they don't have to sign, sign. up. Or, yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Correct. What's your number here? Um, it is 218-346-7276. Okay. Great. Wonderful. And I know you've got some things coming up too. Yes, uh, in actually a couple weeks, February 16th, we have our 10th annual Fergus Falls Tea. Okay. Um, that will be at the In-State Legacy Hall. Um, we will have a silent auction. There'll be entertainment, lunch. Uh, so if anybody would like to get tickets, they're $20. Okay. And you can call the Fergus Falls office at 218-739-2853. Okay. Um, so, and then in March, we actually will be doing a pancake breakfast with the Masonic Lodge. Oh, nice. They're putting that on for us. <clears throat> and where is that located? Um, we are not sure yet. Okay. Um, I'll be posting stuff. I have a Facebook page for Someplace Safe. Oh, good. Um, so once they know for sure, it'll be the 8th or the 9th um, during the Farm and Trade Show. Oh, okay. Um, and then in April uh, 26th, I'll have my Walk a Mile in Our Shoes event. Oh, which... yes. <laughs> we know about that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, more details to come on that as well. So mm -hmm. That's great. So all really pretty much fundraisers, mm -hmm. right, um, to, keep, to keep it going. And yes. I, I know, and I'm sure it takes quite a bit, quite a bit of funds yeah. to do what you do. <laughs> yes. Right. If someone were to want to um, just give a donation... Would they be able to do that? Um, would that be tax deductible and so Yes. On? Okay. Yep. We, we provide receipts for anybody who, who would like one. Um, you know, we do the donations of furniture and things like that. So if they would like a receipt, they just ask for it. You know, same with, you know, monetary donations as well. Sure. Uh, they can just ask for a receipt and they can get one and that's pretty simple. Why should I never thought about furniture? That would be something that would really be needed, wouldn't it? Yes. Are there things in particular that you really are low on that you really could use? Beds. You, beds. <laughs> beds are a big thing. Are yep. they? Okay. And not just the bed, but I'm sure the mat spring and mattress. Yes. And yep. The whole set is definitely the most okay. needed item. What about bedding? Bedding and... You know, we always need them um, just because it's, it's nice <clears> to <throat> have a little stockpile. Sure. Uh, you know, so if it, times do get harder where it is lower... Um, you know, we still have some, sure. but furniture is definitely... Furniture is the big deal. Yeah. Okay, so again, let's give them your phone number just in case um, they would really, you know, they have something, they're seeing this today, and they go, oh my gosh, I've got that chair that, you know, we're not even using. So how would they contact you again, Carrie, for um, that? You can contact my office at 218-346-7276. Um, I'm usually in the office Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Okay, 8 to 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they can just drop it off and... Yeah, they can just call me with whatever they have and, you know, we'll kind of set up a time. Schedule and, a time. Yep. Right. No, just don't drop it yeah. off at the garage, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And then okay. they'll come and they'll donate and if they want a receipt, I'll give them one and it's pretty simple. Oh, that sounds great. Well, I can tell you, Carrie, that you do wonderful things here and you're an unsung hero because I know that you help a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of men and women. And so we just thank you for what you do. And I would hope that if someone were watching, watching today that feels like they need, they're in a situation where they really need the help, that they would call you, realize that it is confidential, and, um, and right. get in touch with you. Definitely. I'm, I'm somebody that's always here for them. Okay. So. That's good to know. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Carrie. And if you ever have anything that you would like to see on the Perm Show, if you'll just give me a call, Gail Langner. My number is 841-2094. Thanks for dropping by today, and have a blessed day.